Out. Drop it. Hey, drop it. Tron, out. He go. Drop it. Move. Hey. Let's go. Hey. Sit. Bruh, you're not sitting. So the question is this. Someone said, hey, how do I get my dogs to play with each other without harming each other? Now they've been out here. We shot an Instagram version of this, so they're pretty fired up to be clear. But I'm gonna tell you the things that I'm mindful of. Work. Now, first thing is, I work with the dogs individually so that when we are playing, they're playing with me, not themselves. Two, as you saw, patience is the name of the game. Since they've already worked up, I didn't do a lot of command stuff before this. I need to let them, again, work through that anxiety, AKA the energy of the, and the excitement of them having a good time and me coming and breaking it up. When I was like, y'all can play until it's time to, to finish. But I was like, you know, let's turn this to a little like Instagram. You got two dogs in the house, here's your first thought. You got a second dog thinking that your other dog needed a friend. Your dog don't need a friend, it needs you. Now, in a whole house, where is a dog normally? If you guys have got a good relationship, it's normally at your feet, at your at your six, at your, in front of you, somewhere in the same room as you, on your lap. Why? Because it ain't even worried about the other dog. Second thing is, I got a large rope so that when they do get too close, I'll break it up, reset them, and make sure, like when we were kids, playing BB Butcher, open chest, knockout, that nobody hits somebody in the nose on accident because then it turns from a game to real life real quick. And you don't want that. I don't want these two dogs to break into a fight. It would ruin the energy in the house and the opportunity to build dogs around a dog like Ego, who's super confident, but he's not tumultuous, which means he's not looking for problems. He just wants to have a good time and he's super competitive. So what did I do? I took a week and built Tron up, get him working on the toys. Then I took Tron through all the dogs and built up his confidence. Then I finally brought him to what we call the Kraken. <laughs> so he could get super motivated and be inspired to compete at a high level. But you see what Tron's doing? Tron's literally chewing on the dango rope. <laughs> That's his thing. And Ego's just holding it. Now imagine if they start pulling it. Come on, try and work. <sighs> try, what are you doing, dude? That dog is chewing on that rope. And that's the thing. They, they, they literally <laughs> bit that rope so much. Tron's like, I picked it up and it's a little line in it where it's like falling apart. I'm like, oh, they try, he trying to set this thing up. He trying to ruin it. Point is, you've got two dogs, individually developed dogs, teach dogs how to work with you. Then slowly but surely watch the dogs together. Then mind you, be mindful of dog behavior. If you see anything that looks like a dog's getting aggressive, you know, snarling, snarling per se, he's getting possessive over the toys. So see like this right here? Tron's like, okay, I'm done playing for now. Here you go, drop it. Move. Hey, so when, when Tron's done playing, One of the things I do is I reset them, get them playing again. If Tron does no longer want to play, that rope goes up because I do not want Ego to become possessive over, <laughs> excuse me, over a toy or any of the things that we're doing. Now, Ego likes that corner. <laughs> so you could call that, hey, he's going back to resource guard. Maybe he is, maybe he's not. But if it is something as far as a resource concerned that he wants to control, I'm like, oh, that's it. We're done here. And then that rope goes up completely, especially when Tron's no longer playing or if I'm not playing with them in general. So how do you get your dogs to play together? Simply put, take your time, build a bond, communicate with them, make sure they understand the rules of engagement, how you want them to play together. Sit out there and manage that. Never leave a toy out without your supervision. And don't leave a toy out, period, because they can swallow it. So many things can go bad. We walk down that road. Stay tuned. Take care of your dogs.